Hello everyone. In today's lecture, we'll discuss uh, DIF algorithm in detail. DIF is again one class of FFT. All right. We have already already seen DIT algorithm. Okay, wherein we were uh, forming smaller smaller sub sequences of XN. Okay, here in DIF will form sub sequences of X of K. All right. That means we'll not divide the input sequence or decimate the input sequence but the output sequence which is in frequency domain will be decimated all right that means your input samples means the samples of xn will be in order right it will start from it will be in natural order it will start from x0 x1 right x2 and will carry up to xn all right but the output samples xk will be decimated all right now if I write this sequence, uh, suppose I'm considering again for n equal to 8, so it will be x0, x1, x2, x3, x4, x5, x6, x7, right, up to uh, n minus 1, alright. So this is my sequence, okay. Now suppose I'll break it into even and odd parts. So x0, x2, x4 and x6 will be one sequence okay x0 x2 x4 and x6 is one sequence another sequence is x sorry capital x x1 x3 x5 and x7 all right this time i'll get this x0 and x4 paired right likewise x2 will get paired with x6 x1 with x5 and x3 with x7 all right this way they get paired all right as, as you know this is the standard structure of butterfly diagram for dif algorithm all right you can see all the inputs are in order natural order 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 but the outputs i mean the frequency domain uh, values okay samples will be decimated in this order right like uh, we have x0 first okay then it will get paired with x4 all right then this x2 will get paired with x6 x6 all right then x1 will get paired with x5 okay and x3 will get paired with x7 okay for analysis part we'll break this sequence into two equal parts say uh, if the length of the sequence is n then we'll divide it into n by 2 and n by 2 parts right but we'll not decimate the elements or samples from here okay now let us say your sequence xn is being divided into two equal parts x1n and x2n all right now this will range from 0 to n by 2 minus 1 right and uh, this will start from n by 2 onwards right up to n minus 1 right both the lengths are n by 2 and n by 2 and total length is n for example if n is 8 right that is it is a n point dft or fft right so this will range from 0 to 3 right because total length is 8 and this will start from 4 and will range up to 7 now fft xk will be the sum of dfts of these two equal parts all right so let us write it down summation of n equal to 0 to obviously it is n by 2 minus 1 okay x of n twiddle factor n to the power n k right plus now next uh, sequence will start from n equal to n by 2 and will range up to n minus 1 okay x of n twiddle factor right and you know we have already defined these sequences as x1 n and, and this is we have defined x2 n right and uh, we can write x1n like xn for n equal to 0 1 2 up to n by 2 minus 1 right likewise for x2n we can write x n plus n by 2 right it will range from 0 to n by 2 minus 1 correct let us put these values of x1 and, and x2n in this equation okay so that 
xk will become equal to wait xk will become equal to summation n equal to 0 to n by 2 minus 1 right x1 n twiddle factor to the power nk plus summation of n equal to 0 to n by 2 minus 1 right x2 n and uh, in place of n now we'll write n plus n by 2 multiply k okay for better explanation of this thing let us consider a line right and let us uh, mark some samples on it let's say this is uh, 0 right and this side is n all right so exactly halfway will be n by 2 we know and uh, this for uh, this particular sequence the n will range from 0 to n by 2 minus 1 all right this we have called x1 n all right and this distance from here to here is n by 2 right likewise for second sequence uh, which we have defined with x to n right it is starting from n by 2 and will range up to n minus 1 all right so this distance will be n plus n by 2 right now let us consider for lower limit first that is n equal to n by 2 so we'll substitute this n with n plus n by 2 right so n sorry n plus n by 2 equals n by 2 right your n comes out to be 0 only right that is my lower limit now uh, new lower limit now okay uh, then for higher limit if we say it is n minus 1 all right let us substitute this n again with n plus n by 2 equals n minus 1 right so this becomes n minus n by 2 is n by 2 only so n by 2 minus 1 right that is my new upper limit all right as you can see uh, for this part right it will start from 0 and will range up to n by 2 minus n when we have substituted n equal to n plus n by 2 right now let us take out the constant term of twiddle factor outside this summation so xk will become equal to summation of n will n from 0 to n by 2 minus 1 x1 n right multiplied with twiddle factor to the power nk plus plus I have uh, taken out the constant term n k by 2 right summation n equal to 0 to n by 2 minus 1 x 2 n twiddle factor to the power n k right now let us find out the value for this twiddle factor first right it can be represented in exponential form right eta 2 pi by n right but we have uh, these two things on uh, in par so i'll have to consider those sorry all right now if you cancel out few things like n and gets, gets cancel out 2 2 gets cancel out so we are left with only iota by k all right if we expand this further by Euler's identity so this becomes cos of pi k minus iota sine of pi k all right we can consider two different cases for k right case one when k is even and case two when k is odd all right so let us consider for k even okay if k is even the value of this twiddle factor will be one all right likewise if k is odd the value will be minus one all right so let us uh, consider one by one first of all we'll consider this equation for uh, k even okay for that let's put this value equal to 1 now for even values your xk will become x of twice of k right equal to summation n equal to 0 to n by 2 minus 1 okay x1 n multiply with twiddle factor to the power this time your uh, k will be replaced with twice of k right so this becomes 2 n k all right plus we have replaced uh, that twiddle factor outside summation with 1 okay for even values of k right n from 0 to n by 2 minus 1 all right x to n and twiddle factor to the power 2 n k okay let us rewrite this equation as x of 2 k equal to summation 
n by 2 minus 1 let's put a bracket x1 n plus x2 n multiply with same twiddle factor all right now by using radix relation property we can replace this thing by n by 2 n k right so that your new equation becomes equal to summation n equal to 0 to n by 2 minus 1 in brackets we have x1 n plus x2 n multiply with twiddle factor in base we'll write n by 2 using radix relation property right and this is your new equation so that is what we get for k even right now i'll consider second case when k is odd all right so this was your equation right and we know a value of this thing when k is odd is minus 1 right so i'll replace this with minus 1 okay now the equation will become x 2k plus 1 equals summation n equal to 0 to n by 2 minus 1 x1 n twiddle factor n to the power c and now the k is being replaced by 2k plus 1 so i'll write 2k plus 1 multiply with n all right and minus this thing we have replaced by uh, minus 1 okay summation n equal to 0 to n by 2 minus 1 x2 n again we have to replace this k with 2k plus 1 multiply n right let us rewrite the equation so x sorry x 2k plus 1 will become equal to summation n equal to 0 to n by 2 minus 1 bracket x1 n minus x2 n and uh, i'll expand this thing w n to the power small n multiply with w n to the power 2 k n right now by radix relation uh, property of twiddle factor we know that uh, this can be written like w in place of n i'll write n by 2 to the power n k all right so this equation becomes x 2k plus 1 equals summation n equal to 0 to n by 2 minus 1 summation x1 minus x2 multiply with this twiddle factor as it is and this will uh, this i'll replace with this thing in base i'll write 10 by 2 and to the power n k okay so we have two equations one is when k is even and another one for k odd all right now both the equations are n by 2 point dft right this function i have to consider as consider as uh, some fn say and here we have to consider this whole thing as say g of n all right now these functions fn and gn uh, shows the basic operation of dif algorithm right now let us try to understand how my standard structure of butterfly is we'll draw two lines then two diagonal lines all right this side we have x1 n as my input and x2 n as second input and the outputs are fn and gn all right now we know that when k is even uh, we'll be getting fn as my output right so it is simply the addition of two inputs all right so we'll write this is equal to x1 n plus x2 n okay that means on this side we know uh, we'll be multiplying the things on horizontal line and the values available on uh, uh, diagonal lines will get added up okay so what we have in here uh, that is x1 as input and we'll multiply with one so ultimately i get x1 at this point right x1 n and from here we are getting x2 n directly so this will get added up with x1 and will result this thing okay likewise we know gn is this thing okay so you can write bracket x1 n minus x2 n multiplied with twiddle factor to the power n all right what does that means that uh, x1 n 
we are getting from this diagonal side <coughs> right and x to n it is coming from this side all right but we'll be multiplying x to n with minus one right that's why we are getting minus sign here so at this point we'll be getting x1 n minus x2 n right then uh, we'll multiply this whole thing with twiddle factor so we'll place our twiddle factor at this uh, this side right this operation is applicable to all the butterflies in dif okay your first output is always free from twiddle factor and twiddle factor will only be available for second output only right i think you got it quite clear that's all for now thank you